Okay, so Halloween is just around the corner, and in light of the current pandemic and everything that we're going through at the moment, and given that the UK is likely to be going into a second wave and a second lockdown very quite soon, there is fears about going out trick-or-treating or having Halloween parties. Welcome back to the show, welcome back to the diary. So yes, Halloween. Many people are gonna be wanting to go trick-or-treating, many people are gonna be wanting to have Halloween parties. Now it's not the act of having a party that's the problem, it's how many people you have at the party, what kind of building you're in, what kind of space you're in, and what you're getting up to. If you're having over six people and you're all drinking alcohol, yep gonna put in yourselves at risk. If you're having under six or up to six people, there is alcohol involved, but you're all mature and you're all not going overboard, you're all good. But that is the current rules for the UK, up to six people in a building at any one time, unless of course you are in your own home. The advice is to not mix households, but that's sort of also advice, it's sort of vague as well, because like we've had before, we've had our ministers and cabinet people turn around and saying, do this, don't do that, yet they go off and do it themselves. Yeah, nice work. <laughs> but no, I can't remember whether it was Morrison's or another company, but there are shops out there that are doing the home bucket of sweets for kids that can't go out trick or tree. For those parents who are that worried about COVID virus and it's okay to be worried that you don't want to take your kids around houses trick or treating this year, you don't need to, you don't need to worry. All you really need to do is if you, if the kids are still going, oh, but I still want sweets then you buy them the bucket that they would usually have for trick-or-treating and you fill it with a load of different sweets. That way, even if you don't buy them the pre-made bucket, you buy them a bucket and a load of sweets to put in it. At least that way they have their favourites. And at least that way you know it's fresh sweets as well because sometimes, I mean, I'm not saying that everyone does this and I'm not saying it's common or anything. But sometimes there might be leftover candy from leftover sweets from last year. Ew. <laughs> but no, just grab hold of a bucket and fill it full of sweets for those of you who are worried about going out trick or treating. Those who are likely to be going out trick or treating, do be careful. Those who are willing to open their door to trick or treaters. I have a few tips, ideas, whatever, but either way, be careful. But you can have a bucket outside with sweets inside. Now, this is all based on trust and everything else. You will get the odd rotten egg kind of teenager that's out bored and that's gonna ruin it for everyone else. But if you leave a bucket of sweets just outside, then you personally don't have to deal with interaction and touching things other than putting it out there. There is also the other thing of if you pre-bag up sweets while wearing gloves, all you need to do is hand over the bag by yourself. You can also do a whole grabber thing. It's like, I am robot, plate, proper play up on it in the Halloween type thing, it's like you can dress yourself as a robot and then have robotic arms, but you've got a grabber and you're just grabbing the little bag of sweets and each person that you are opening the door to, if anyone is going around, gets a little bag of sweets that's been packed carefully and approved enough for, or is somewhat COVID safe, because you can also 
if you're that worried about it you can also do the whole disinfectant spray because it works on thin plastic bags that's fine just don't spray the sweets spray the outside of the bag not the inside some people would be like what the others are like oh no i'm gonna spray the sweets now as understandable as that is uh Disinfectant doesn't taste very nice and it's not very safe for kids. Please don't spray sweets with disinfectant. <laughs> if you are going to bag it up and you do want to disinfect the bag, then obviously tie it in the knot first, make sure there's no holes, then spray, sort of thing. So that's a couple of ideas that you guys can have for how to hand over sweets a bit more safely and how to deal with trick-or-treaters. Trick-or-treaters, if you are going out this year, stay in your niche groups whether that's with family close friends that you know don't have the virus or know that have been uh social distancing and keeping themselves indoors during the lockdown as much as they were able to sort of thing <clears throat> and so only stay with those that you know trust and know that we're being sensible and behaving themselves and not just being all like oh, i'll believe it when i believe it or i'll believe it when someone i know gets it sort of thing if you're smart about it you'll stay safe so be smart stay safe and stay happy stay alive stay good stay healthy as it were <laughs> but no that's it for me today guys i'm gonna leave it here just good luck to any trick treaters that are all going out this year Good luck to anyone who's opening the door this year as well. If you don't want to, it's fine. Just stick a little note on your door saying we're not accepting trick or this year due to the pandemic. And again, for those of you who wanted to go trick or but because it's pandemic, you now don't want to, there are ways of treating your child to sweets without having to deal with all the hassle of touching people or touching things that other people have touched. But no, that's it for me today, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. See ya. Welcome to another crime